Hello my friends, how are you all doing? Welcome to another stream. Um, I will say hello to everybody that's in the chat in a moment. I have to make sure that my chat is working. Uh, I have to check this every single time for some reason. I've set it up properly, but uh, for, for whatever reason, it doesn't refresh the cache. So I have to make sure it works every time. How are we all doing? Welcome to another stream, everybody. Um, hope we're all well. Hope all the audio and everything's fine. Um... How are you doing, Lexi? Welcome to another stream. Um, I have a special guest at the moment. He's on my lap. I'm very uncomfortable as a result. But um, Master Rolo is in here with me. Hey, there he is, the little guy. Um, he's in here because my wife has already started putting the Christmas decorations up. And we've got this like bow being put on the door. And uh, yeah, brilliant. But uh, he's sitting on my lap because he's scared for some reason. You can have to get down, buddy boy. Oh, there we go. That's better. Oh, dosh hands, man. Lap dogs. But um, how are we all doing today? 
how are we all doing? I'm buzzing for another stream. I get to reveal a brand new zone to you guys. Uh, if you've missed last Sunday's uh, episode, make sure you head over to the channel after the stream. Give it a good check out. Lots of people have been getting involved in the uh, in the comment section. As always, dropping me likes, dropping me loads of uh, really interesting points and whatnot. And uh, one of the comments I'm actually going to be picking up on quite heavily in today's stream, and I think we're going to work our way uh, through it. It was from Night Clive. Um, I had I I'd kind of replied to Night Clive. In case he pops in today's stream and said that I was going to do all this stuff off camera, but I, just, I haven't had the time, so I'm actually going to do it today, and we'll get into that in a little while. Joe, how are you doing, buddy? Um, good to have you in the in the stream. I'm a little bit out of breath. I've just been running up and down the stairs about 19 times trying to sort stuff out. Emily started crying. Doggo needed uh, to be brought upstairs. Oh, it's all been a bit crazy just before I'm going to go on stream. Um, but. Uh, but yeah, really looking forward to this one. Really, really looking forward to this one. And buzzing. I just love the I love the streams at the moment. This is what I this is kind of what I'm living for at the minute. I am uh, going to start loading the game. I guess that's really important. That I start doing that. What on earth are you doing, Rolo? Okay, let's start loading this up because it is going to take a little while. Because it does. Because this. Uh, project has got some size uh, for those of you that follow me on twitter and stuff you will have seen that i did tweet out uh, over the course of the weekend saying that it still amazes me six months into this project that you guys are still commenting uh, and still getting involved in the way that you do every single episode sunday's episode absolutely banged again and uh yeah i just want to thank you all basically for keeping this series going and keeping the interest up i really really appreciate it at the end of the day without you guys i wouldn't be doing the streaming i wouldn't be doing the the youtube stuff so yeah it's amazing really really amazing so absolutely loving a laugh right anew um let me just check a couple of things um yep that's all good we should be fine we should be fine I've noticed that I do drop a few frames when it's loading, so just got to be a little bit careful of that. But uh, what's everyone been up to today? Been keeping busy on this Tuesday? Uh, I know everybody's from different bits of the world and whatnot. We're still locked down here in England, so we're not really doing too much. Um, I've just been kind of working my way through graphics work and stuff that I've got going on, making intros for people, and yeah, it's been pretty good, you know? Oh, how old are you then, Joe? I think it's mad that schools are still open. I'm going to be honest with you. It makes you laugh that they lock down lots of stuff and then they leave the schools open. It's a bit crazy to me. All those, all those kids, even with all of the social distancing rules that they put in place, it just seems a bit mad to me. It's just so many people in one place. Um, bit too crazy. Um, but yeah. We are still loading. Why are we not surprised? I've, I've jumped on a bit early. I realise I am early. I said six o'clock, didn't I, to everybody? Oh, fair enough, Joe. So, secondary school. Early stages of secondary school. God, it's a, it's a long time <laughs> since I was at secondary school. Jesus. So, I started secondary school in 96. I finished in 2001. So, there you go. Um, a long, long time ago. Uh, how you doing, Christian? Welcome to another stream. Welcome to the chat. Hope you're well. Um, schools. I looked at like daycare centers. To schools, people can't walk. Their kids are stuck at home. Right? Yeah, yeah. I, I, I totally understand it, Lexi. Like, what, why they're doing it? But I, I don't know. I just, I just kids can still get. You know, kids can still get it. So I just think that you know, you, more people are sort of being put at risk just to accommodate the children and stuff. I get it, I get it, you know, it, it is hard. At, at the end of the day, I say, it, I say it over and over again, don't I? Every government is having to do things for the first time ever, and they're all doing it their way, and they all are doing it the right way in their eyes. So we, we can't really knock them for it, can we? But just, um, I think we're always going to question the stuff that's going on. Year nine, so it'll be GCSE year then next year, Joe, which is big. Get your get your GCSE started, mate. Be pretty cool. Um, 
Are we loading? It usually does this when it's just about to load. Come on. Right, come on. Come on. Communicate. Communicate, game. Right, what I'm going to do is I will jump straight in so it is a game so uh we've got that on screen my friends um so yeah here we are every time every time f5 basically is my jump to the main but it also must be the one that brings up like the save uh stuff so i'm not gonna obviously i've kind of given it away because i'm looking at two of the zones that you could have potentially picked but um it was a landslide victory for zone B, my friends, um, and I mean an absolute landslide victory, um, because I think only two people voted for A and one for C, or the other way around, I'm not sure, I can't remember now, all will be revealed properly uh, on Sunday, because uh, there will be an official episode on the channel on Sunday, um, you know, whether I get everything finished or not, uh, my plan basically going forward is to do Tuesday and Thursday as streams, and then Sunday, if I don't get everything finished, we'll do it as a live YouTube, um, we'll do it as a live YouTube, like, um, stream but it'll be more of a like catch up on how i'm doing and where i'm at um and then when it's a finished product obviously it'll be like pre-recorded and put out that put out that way on sundays but my my idea now and my aim is to always get something out on sunday for you, for you guys on the youtube channel because i know not everybody watches these live streams lots of people wait to tune in to the videos on sunday um so yeah that's basically the plan going forward um so yeah pretty decent stuff so that was a landslide victory for zone b can't remember exactly how many votes I, I, how many votes i did write it down but it was a ridiculous amount like it was so so many people voted for zone b and so yeah i guess like we'll be pushing on and um and we'll be basically i guess completing north america with the space that we've got i would hope we'd be able to complete north america at least anyway or or majority of it, uh, I knew I knew B would win nearly unanimous, but still tried to give you a break. Yeah, I know. I I I kind of had a feeling it would as well, uh, Lexi. And it's probably me who sold Zone B to everybody because I kind of said, "Yeah, we get North America finished with this space." And I think everybody just heard that and they were like, "Yeah, we'll do that then. We'll do Zone B." So yeah, kind of had a feeling that was going to be the case. Um, I I I'm, I don't mind too much to be honest. If you we'll probably end up doing bears and wolves. And a few bits and bobs. And we'll try and get creative with it. And uh, I think it will look pretty cool. I think it'll be okay. The Grizzlies is going to be the biggest task. Because of how uh, zoos keep those animals. Uh, obviously from a realistic standpoint. But uh, but yeah. We'll we'll, uh, we'll do our best basically. We'll do our best. And then the wolves are. I think that's what people want next. Based on the comments that I see um that is what people want next so i think the walls is what will be worked on quite heavily the b biggest thing i need to do first though is terrain i gotta sort the terrain out i don't know if we're actually going to do any of this today i just wanted to reveal the zone today but i think what i'm going to do is um night clive uh, left a comment on the last stream what i'm going to do is i'm going to try and find that comment i'll read it out or I'll read i'll read part of it out at least um and then we'll go from there basically so where is that comment um nice clive um so basically night clive said we're at a point where wherever construction side uh we open is more or less finished uh I would instead use this occasion, if you approve, um, in the next stream, rather than starting another build, but go through the park, building by building, enclosure by enclosure, back lot, uh, back lot by back lot, and look for details and little improvements that we could make and execute. Uh, we could go with a suggestion from the tour video, but also see if... Rolo, you know. Sorry if you hear the dog barking, but obviously he's not amazing. Rolo! Stop. 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 Um, so basically, as, <laughs> do, do you want to take over the stream, mate? Uh, so essentially what Nightclub was saying is 
we should go basically through the zoo as it is and just see where we can make improvements and see where we can make additions and so on and so on and finish off areas basically it makes a really fine point and a really fair point in my opinion um that we obviously move on and on and on and on we're all we're always building certain stuff we never really finish a lot of stuff and i do agree like for instance north america I said in Sunday's episode, 90% finished, all the planting's not done. So I do think there's stuff that needs improving and does need finishing. Um, oh, it's alright, Joe. No, not a problem, buddy. Um, and Sarah, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. Yeah, tell me about it. Rolo, Rolo's got a voice. Trust me. Dog loves a bark, especially when he is new new voices and new sounds. He's not. He's a bit of a nervous dog. Like So lots of people know the history of Rolo. Um, he's a little bit of a nervous animal, always has been, um, and so he, he, he takes a lot of work. Basically, we nearly lost him a little while ago. He nearly, he nearly died, um, but he's definitely found his voice again. And you'd never know he was ill. But, um, but uh, yeah, I think he wants to be the streamer. I think he basically wants to be the one that earns the money. He's, he's definitely better looking than me, so he might make more money. Uh, but yeah, essentially, from what Nightclub was saying, that's what I'm going to try and do today. Um, and I think that will probably be today's stream. I, do, I know that won't be for everybody. I know it's probably not going to be the most exciting thing for some people. But um, there are some little problem areas that do need sorting out. Um, this is one. Um, this is one here. This is a big problem that needs sorting. Um, we get so much congestion in this area. Um, I basically, I come in and I, I keep pulling people out of the way. And I keep... Pay, basically i keep pushing them over to the new restaurant as well but um this just isn't wide enough for the amount of people that use it um as you can see we've earned a good amount of money we moved forward 10 years obviously because we've opened a new zone um we were like 290 i think so we've earned a good amount of money in those in those 10 game years so pretty happy with that um, but yeah, this is a problem. I noticed during the course of moving it forward those 10 years, this was getting bunched up to the point where people just couldn't get out. People were getting stuck there. Um, so I think we need to widen, we need to widen this. Um, it's a bit of a pain because of the water and it does mean moving all of the barriers and whatnot, but it's a job that needs doing. Um, I think that this gift shop here, there was something in the gift shop that I noticed. I still haven't done this wall. This needs finishing. Um, so that's definitely something we need to work on. Um, there's just loads of little bits and bobs. And I think Night Clive's idea of going building to building and just working our way through and making improvements is probably the best way to do it. And I think that's what I'm going to do. So let's crack on. Let's crack on on and uh, yeah feel free to just get involved in the chat talk amongst yourselves ask me any questions you want we'll just have a great stream like we always have uh gang so i'm gonna start in the old area first and foremost i'm gonna start over here seems uh seems like a, a long time ago that we were we were building in this area but you know i do think there's probably little bits and bobs that i could check and change and um you know look at this this is a real problem because this has all become sort of part of the zoo, I need to add bins on the outside. I need to add some bins on the outside. So that's that's ta that's task one. I'm going to do that right now, actually. Um, facilities. Let's get the bins up. All right. I don't know how long this woman's going to take who's setting this thing up. Um hopefully it'll be pretty quick and then Rolo can go back downstairs Jesus there's so much trash here um all right let's put a bin there and then let's put a bin there um and then I'll try to just keep it as even as possible and we'll do them on the other side of the road as well I still need to disguise these as well I was going to disguise these as like bus stops and stuff weren't I I still need to do that this is what I mean and I do think it's a really fair point that Night Clive makes is that you know we do move on because there's always something more interesting to do than these jobs always um you know I would much rather get stuck into a big project than I would sit doing little jobs so um He's made a fair point, and I'm uh, and I'm to I'm definitely gonna listen to the young man because uh, 
he usually speaks a lot of sense, to be fair to him. Don't tell him I told I told you that, but he does. Um, so let's... Um, I'd like to put this near the wall. There we go, let's put that near the wall. To be fair, that, that should be back here, but it don't matter. Don't matter too much. Um... But yeah, I kind of forget that this is all ends up all being part of it, doesn't it? Because of where our people spawners are. Right, so we haven't got any up there. There's one here. Right, the rubbish doesn't seem to be too bad up this end, but I will just put one more bin, just in case. We'll put one. We'll put one there, and then we'll put one this side over it. Doesn't seem to be half as bad the other side of the road, so, okay, that's fine. That's a little job done. Um, but what we all been doing with our Tuesdays, it is Tuesday, isn't it? What we all been doing with our Tuesdays? Having fun, chilling out, work, school. I know Joe's already said he's been at school today. Um... So that's one small jobby job job. There is just rubbish everywhere. I think we might need some more... Um, with that said, we might actually need some more cleaners. How many we got? Ten. Ten caretakers. It's not a lot, is it, really, for a park of this size? Um, but they are all well-trained. Apart from this one, they are all pretty well... Well trained. Maybe I need to start doing some proper work zones for cleaners as well. See, I find the work zones for the cleaners in this game are just a bit odd. See, I would rather be able to just um, select an area for the cleaners because they don't necessarily clean facilities, do they? So then when you set the work zone up for them, does that mean they just do that perimeter of where those facilities are? It doesn't really make sense to me. Um, so yeah, I would much rather be able to set up a, a different work zone for them. How you doing, uh, dude? Welcome. How are you? I'll, uh, I I know I text you, but um, I'll finish your logo later. I just got to find the right font. Um. Yes, yeah, seventeen keepers. Wow. Feel rough. Wow. Was uh was it one of those dodgy naps that was supposed to be like a five minute nap and ended up being like an hour, and then you'll always wake up dog rough. Let's actually do this while I'm here, because we are training all these people. Right, that's that. Yeah, we might need some more cleaners. Might definitely need some more cleaners. I think that's why we're getting so much rubbish. Um, so. That is a real problem. Um, so yeah, I've, I don't really know where to start. There's so much stuff that needs doing, and I, I really don't know where to start. So, this area is definitely finito. Don't need to, don't really need to be looking at this area. But I'm just gonna, I'm just basically gonna double check everything. Um, I'm still really happy with this. Maybe this could be wider, but there really is no way of doing that. So we're just gonna have to leave it as it is. This restaurant doesn't get half as busy as it. You, well, okay. Well, that's shut me up. It was, for a while, not getting half as busy as this. Now, what I'm, I might do is I might change this wall design uh, to match the other restaurants. So what I'm actually thinking of doing is doing a trim at the bottom and around the edge and going all the way around the edge with that trim, like I've done in the other restaurants. I just think it will look really, really nice. And then 
this here can probably stay as it is. I really need to empty the zoo, but the minute I do that, if I was to close the zoo, we would lose money. And that's the issue, but I really could do with closing the zoo, emptying it out of people, because all these people are in the way and it, and it is a big problem. It ends up being a bit of a pain. But yeah, I might do that. I'm not going to do that right now because there's too many people in there. All this stuff here is fine. I'm still relatively happy with all this in here. Um, I'm all right with this here. Um, this does need a little work, I think. This was from the early days when we didn't really have uh, proper stuff. But I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to cheat. Just make life easier for myself. I'm going to use this one. I'm going to use that one. Let's do a little copy. Um, there we go. Just put that there a minute. Leprechauns, tortoises. All right, delete that. Delete. That's how basic it was. I was using the in-game pieces. Wow. 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 Okay. Let's move that in there. A little update. A little update. Oh, okay. <laughs> don't need uh, don't need the lemurs to be the uh, thing that's being educated here. It's Galapagos sorted. That's one job down. A million to go. Okay, so this could probably do with a little work. Um, we could probably do with some more signs on here. Um, Croc Corner. I'm trying to think, what's that way? We've got Croc Corner. We've got John M's Monitor Manor. Can't remember what colour that is, but I'll just I'll put John. I'll just do it like this for now. John M's Monitor Manor, and I'll find the colour out in a moment. So we've got John M's Monitor Manor. Um. Move that down. We got the baby crock pool that way. We'll definitely put that in. Mm, baby crock pool. Has anyone been watching? I'm a celebrity. Uh, I've caught a little bit of it, Joe. Um, I, I, who was the la who was the gentleman's name who did the thing with uh, Shane Ritchie last night? He ha why would he why would he choose to go in uh, in the jungle in well the jungle? Why would he choose to go Jordan? That was it. Why would he choose to go in there if he's scared of everything? Like he's and I mean he's not just scared. He's petrified I'm, I'm amazed he can walk out the front door he's so scared I, I know I know dude I was, I was exactly the same thing I was sitting there watching it with Kate and Kate Katie is usually really like um she she shows a lot of compassion for people when they're suffering with stuff like that, like fear. He was annoying Katie. Now, that takes some doing. Anybody that knows my wife knows that takes some doing, but he was annoying Katie so much. And she was just like, please, can you just get on with it? Do, you know what? Do we really need that there? Do we really need that there? Because we've got that bit there, I'm, I'm, do you know what? 
I'm not sure we need this. Because we've got that one round the corner, but then there isn't anything here. Maybe that's why I just did those really basic things. Do you know what? Let's delete them and just leave it really basic as it was. Let's just leave it. Okay, so fire extinguisher, fire alarm, fire alarm, decent. Don't really need to touch any of that. Now, I'm not updating any buildings. I'm just going to throw that out there. We're not going to update the buildings. We are going to leave everything as it was because I want that's, I want us to be able, once this project is finished, I want us to be able to see the evolution of the zoo. I want you to be able to differentiate the fact that this was the beginning and then maybe like the last episode we make is the end because the zoo has clearly got more up to date as it's gone along because of the you know technology and all this sort of stuff would have changed as time's gone on so um, i'm not going to be changing things up too much what i will say is i might add some more benches like in the middle but i can't remember what the path actually looks like here so i'm just gonna have a little yeah see i didn't think the path went too far back there and i think this is why i didn't do it in the first place um was because I think the way I did the path was just really, really janky. Yeah, it is. It's just the path's all over the gaff under here. Um, and I think that's why I didn't do this. Uh, maybe this is maybe this is why there's not many benches in here because the path is an absolute mess. We could add one there. I'm going to add one there. But what I do want to do, because um, I've been talking about this for ages, absolutely ages I've been talking about this, I want to add a little something here. Um, And we've got those plushies. So I might see if we've got like a crocodile plushie or something um, that we can that we can use. So... Plushies, plushie. There we go. So, I need to find who made these. I need to find their name, and and I need to start linking it in the video because these are amazing. These are amazing. Um, so, is there a crocodile? There's. Oh yes, there's a tortoise. That's that's decent. Is that all we've got, reptiles wise? Do you know what? I need to just get rid of this grass. Here we go, lovely job. So there's a tortoise, and yes, we've got a we've got a croc back there. That's pretty pretty cool. Okay, so that's nice. We can use those. So let's just make a little copy of that, and then let's make a copy of that, and then I can delete. Uh, yeah, I can delete all that. Get my money back. Lovely job. Um, oh, dearie, dearie me. So yeah, we're going to use these and we're going to just make like a little plushy stool, um, which I think will be nice. It'll be a nice little addition because uh, we've got like a gift shop. Um, so, it won't be like, so it won't be like an official gift shop where we can actually make money. Um, but we have like a little gift shop already. Um, like we've got gift shops inside places already. Um, we did it in the North American area. So I think it'll be a nice addition to have maybe like a little desk here. Um and we can have like some plushies and stuff maybe stacked up on some shelves here. Uh, Leanne, how are you doing? Welcome. Um, you've not missed a lot, to be honest with you. Um, what we're doing in today's stream, uh, someone... Hey, Linda, how are you as well? Um, no need to apologise. No need to apologise if you're late, guys. It's not a problem. Um, I'm going to be here for a while. Uh, just so you both know, and anyone else that's new and joining the chat, today we're basically going to be working on the whole zoo i basically want to go into little areas and finish bits off and add bits where they needed adding uh someone made a really good point in the comment section on sunday's episode that we keep moving forward and we keep leaving bits and bobs unfinished and so i'm just literally going to take the zoo section by section building by building and just add the bits that we don't have um and so this bit i've been talking about since the dawn of time putting something in here so that's what i'm uh, that's what i'm doing right now um just so you all know, so I can keep you all up to date. Um, 
how I'm going to do this. I don't know, because I've got the big window. And obviously, we want to do it so there's like a desk almost. So someone would be standing behind it where you could pay. So I guess the desk is going to go there best. Um, so what about if... Is this all one thing? Hmm. Right. Yeah, I know. It, it's one of those things, Linda. Like, because it's not... I was actually saying, just as we started, um, you, I think we all tend to move on and we do stuff that's a bit more exciting than, than this. And uh, we, we do it because it's, it's, it's not... It's not fun, is it? It's not fun work, basically. So, you know, it's so much more fun to uh, do bigger projects and bigger habitats and stuff. So, um, but it is stuff that I think if we are looking at the zoo realistically, it's stuff that we've been. Well, I say we. I always say we because it's our project. But yeah, it's stuff I've been neglecting basically. Um, And this is something I would say to anyone that's playing. Never be afraid to just copy and paste. Never, ever be afraid to copy and paste. Especially if you're doing a big project. Because then stuff will stay consistent. Um, that's just happened to my wife's school, the Anne. Funny enough. Well... I shouldn't say funny enough, but yeah, someone tested positive. One of the kids tested positive in my wife's school. Um, my wife is on maternity, so we've obviously we're not having to worry about it too much. But obviously, she is good friends with the other teachers, and they've said that you know their school will remain open. It's just the people that have come into contact and and whatnot. They've all now got to go and self isolate and stuff. But that just seems crazy to me that they would uh, they would leave the school open. But what do I know? What do I know, eh? See, I don't know if you would agree, Sarah, but I feel like in a franchise zoo, you do this stuff more, don't you? Because obviously you work on a very small budget at the beginning. Um, well, I, I found that with the with the franchise zoo that, that I did uh, on my own for a little while. I never did a franchise zoo um, on on like a stream on the channel because this is essentially like a franchise zoo just without the research um if we think about it yeah see i was saying i was saying that linda just just uh just as we started to stream funny enough me and lexi were were talking about it because joe was saying that he'd been at school today and uh you know I, I was saying i just i don't understand how the schools are open to be honest with you <laughs> it is a bit mad but what what do we know what do we know at the end of the day it's the i, I keep i keep sort of semi defending the government because it is a first you know for them they 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 you know Whatever they do, people are going to think that, you know, what the government's doing is wrong and we're all going to have our own opinions of it and stuff. So it is a difficult situation. Uh, hey, let's hope, eh? Let's hope that with all these vac talk of a vaccine and whatnot, there's a light at the end of the tunnel. So I don't know how many of you follow Eben here that are in the chat and whatnot, but uh, he was... Lovely, lovely, lovely guy. I really, I've got so much time for Eben. He's a fantastic creator in the community, but he was nice enough to uh, essentially say to people, look, I'm a bit sick at the moment. I haven't really got the time to be working on my projects and I'm a bit burnt out because of DLC, but go and watch this guy because he's really good. And honestly, I was so flattered that Eben would shout me out like that. So, uh, you know, Eben, if you watch the stream back, whether it be here on Twitch or 
on the channel, buddy. I really, really thank you from the bottom of my heart. Really, really appreciate it. Uh, you've always been a massive support on the channel. And uh, yeah, just uh, props to you, my friend. Yeah, it really is, Linda. It really, really is. Um, she's she's still like doing a bit of work, like she's um, <clears throat> she's tutoring from home, but that's the that's the nice thing. We, she can just do it from home, and whatnot. But honestly, I, I'd be I think I'd be really stressing out if she was at work. To be honest with you. Yeah, I do as well. I think that, you know, if all communities kind of if all the communities worked along the same line as the, the Planko and Planzo one, then Jesus, how good would the community aspect of gaming actually be? Um You know, it'd just be amazing. Um really struggle with not keep restarting my franchise after three yeah the thing is with the franchise mode in this game is you've just got to persevere in those early stages you've got you you've got to put stuff in and it's got to look a bit ugly unfortunately with a franchise and that's one of the reasons why i didn't really want to do the franchise zoo i didn't want to use franchise mode i wanted to essentially try to do franchise but use sandbox so we could tweak the settings a little bit night clive how are you doing rollo rollo come on buddy no I essentially wanted to do, no, what was I saying? Nightclub. Rolo threw me off there completely. <laughs> Nightclub, how you doing, buddy? Um, Nightclub, it's good to have you here, mate. I basically didn't get to. Uh... Hey, 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 Rolo, Rolo. Oh yeah, Dibby. Rolo, stop. Jesus, this dog. Um, Rolo, Rolo. Sorry, everybody. Enough. Oh, she's got a thing about it when when he can't see people. Um, Night Clive, I'm basically. I read your comment, mate. I did say to you I was going to work on those things off stream. I've decided to do them on stream because I didn't get round to them. So actually, mate, um, yeah, you're actually going to get to see all those little bits and bobs being done. Um, but yeah, I hope you well, mate. Really hope you well. Good to have you in the stream. Right, so we got that there, and then I think I'm just gonna put like a little cabinet, like a little cabinet or something in here. Maybe smaller ones, two smaller ones, maybe. Not sure. It's not the biggest space, and uh, obviously the window there and stuff. Um, so yeah, just gonna try and make the most of it. He really does want to be part of the stream. I think I'm gonna be able to let him out. I think the biggest problem with Rolo at the minute is he's the door's shut. So he can't get out of the room and he gets a bit stressed. Yeah, definitely. It's gonna be one of one of them parties, Pete. How are you, uh, buddy, by the way? Nice to have you in the in the stream. Um I know Pete, you're an avid watcher of my FM content. Um I will be doing FM from next week, mate, on the on the on certain days. Um because the game's out next week, and I'm actually buzzing to get my hands on it, because uh, a lot of the guys in the community that I talked to have said that they think it's a very, very good game this year, so, yeah, buzzing. Uh, Tortoise Man, how you doing? Good to have you in the stream. Uh, today, buddy, I'm basically working my way through the zoo. I'm basically working my way through every building, making sure that um, we've got stuff in the right places, and when I say stuff like, I mean things like fire alarms, fire extinguishers, you know, lights, um, planting that's not been finished. I'm basically going to try to work my way through today, try to get bits finished. Uh, Nightclub, we are. Yeah, um, we are, mate. We are in the we are in the original uh, reptile house. What's on the... F oh, so these are, these are plushies. These are going to be the things that are going to go on the shelf. I know they look really random, but yeah, the tortoise there and a crocodile there. Essentially, they're going to be like the plushies that we're going to put on the shelves here. This is just going to be like a little fake gift shop type thing here um i need to try and find 
like a um, a till, a cashier till or something to put on here. Um, yeah, no, they're very good. They're very good. I need to give a shout out to the guy that or, or girl that made these. These are very, very good. I really, really like these. Uh, obviously, the piece count does go up a fair bit, but. Um, so for instance, that tortoise is 67 pieces and the crocodile is 37. So you can imagine you put a few of those on shelves and your piece count is going to go up, but I really like them. And, uh, I think they deserve pride of place basically. Um, right. So how am I going to fit all this in here? Yeah. FM streams. And basically, uh, Pete, I'm going to be starting a road to glory, mate. Uh, classic road to glory. I was arming and arming over whether to do another hall of famer uh whether to do like a an iteration of um the scandinavian project that i did last year but i think as this is my first proper year on stream i think i'm just gonna pick a team and run with it and i'm gonna go with dagenham redbridge because i lived in dagenham for a long long time i'm part of uh, essex lived there went to school there um, so yeah, so and I I used to go over Dagenham because it was cheap because they're non-league. Well, were back then and are now I think. So yeah, I think it'll be a good one, be a really really good one to do. So uh, that's what I'm gonna do, and then I'm gonna be doing the the rebuild uh, save that I was meant to do last year, where every Saturday uh, on the channel I'm gonna put out one season. Um, are we still at the start? What do you, what do you, what do you mean? Right, Clive. We're right at the start of the stream, essentially. I've only been live 35 minutes. So we've got another couple of hours. Um, yeah, it's, it is my favourite as well, Pete. I think people get far more attached to one team rather than when you do a journeyman and you change teams. Um, so, yeah, just I was trying to find something that would be good for my my first sort of like proper stream series and uh, I spoke to a couple of people and they said just pick one team run with it and and see how you get on and if you finish it early then you just start another stream basically so I've got plans in place for if that happens anyway let's um let's stop waffling and actually get get some stuff done shall we Okay, I'm either going to sound really old or really silly, maybe, but what is a Funko Pop? Oh, um, I haven't done much, Night Clive. I put some bins along the street. Um, I think I put a new information board near near one of the uh, near one of the habitats here but yeah other than that mate I've not I've not really done too much I've been too busy chatting too busy chatting you know what I'm you know what I'm like I love a good chin wag I'm like an old woman like me nan my nan loves to chat I'm a bit like a bit like that you know um See, that's just too...
All right, okay. All right, right. I'm just going to take up short two... Oh, um, maybe not. Two seconds. Hello. Stop doing that. That would be great. Um... Ah, oh, that's what they're called. I know what they are. I didn't realise that's what they were called. There you go. I'm not that old. I know what they are. I just, I just, uh, yeah, didn't realise that was their name. Yeah, I quite like those things, actually. I don't have any. I don't collect them, but yeah, I quite like those. I think they're quite cool. Um, put something in that corner and just trying to fit a few different bits in. I don't just want the plushies I'd like to fit some other stuff though just gonna make sure that um get all the sizing right there we go These are quite large. These are quite large. It's just to add a little bit more detail in here, really, this little area. Because it's just a bit of dead space, so... We can just uh, add a little something-something in here. It's always nice. Let me get one more in. Yeah, nice. Nice job. <laughs> no worries, Night Clive. See you in a bit, buddy. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. Um, not really a collector myself, but I can see why. I can see why people would uh, would collect them, especially the film and TV stuff. Like you say, like you got all the Walking Dead ones. It's quite cool, actually. Were you were you a were you a fan of the were you a fan of the show then, the uh, Walking Dead?
Yeah, I, I, I watched um, I watched The Walking Dead for a while, and then I I got I got to be honest, I got a little disinterested. So um, I kind of stopped watching. I can't remember what season it was. I stopped watching. I think it was around about the season that Rick disappeared from the show, and um, yeah, I just kind of uh, just stopped watching it as much as I I did initially, you know. But yeah, I quite like Walking Dead. Did rate it for a long time. It's just one of those shows, isn't it? it just unfortunately, I think a lot of those uh, those shows fall into that trope, don't they, of um, getting a bit samey. Okay, right. Let's uh, delete you and delete you. Right, I'm quite happy with that placement because you can go around the back and you can. Staff can get in and out there. I might just add something here and something else here. I've got a few blueprint items that I use quite a lot for gift shops. Um, just to save a bit of time, really. It's amazing that I'd say 95% of this has been made by myself. And I downloaded a lot of this stuff here that you can see because I wanted to save time. And uh, I just never did save any time because I was too busy using all of these. Delete that one, and we'll just keep this one. Um, and I might put it this side, maybe. Yeah, we'll put that there. Um, and then there was a bit over in my other, in my big gift shop. Oh, I didn't realise that was all the way through on the wall there. Might have to do something about that's that's odd. That maybe shouldn't have done that. Um Let's just sort that out while we're at. There we go. And then yeah, there's something over in the other gift shop or wherever that is. Over here. Um, yeah, it was this, but actually, I think that's going to be a bit too big. Ah, this one, this one will do. It's just to add a bit of detail to this bit of dead room here, really. Still going to be a bit big, actually. But can make this smaller, actually. Um. Yeah, Rick really was the glue. Yeah, someone someone said that to me, Linda, funny enough. Someone said the last season was really, really good. Um, I 
Yeah, but there's a lot of talk that um, Negan is going to get a spin-off series. It's a weird one, though, isn't it? Because the guy, is it Andrew? Andrew something, isn't it? The guy that plays Rick. And, uh... Yeah, Andrew Lincoln, that's it. He, he basically said that he didn't want to do Walking Dead anymore because he was worried that that's all he'd be remembered for and he wanted to do movies and stuff. But we've not we've not seen him do anything since, so it is a bit strange, isn't it? It is a bit strange. Maybe, maybe, uh, you know, he's agreed to come back because the grass wasn't green on the other side. Maybe. Who knows? Um, so, yeah, I've just done, I've done like a tiny little sort of plushy stand here. I don't know if I need to do like one more level. I don't know if that's too low. Do I do one more level, maybe? A mixture of the crocs and the tortoises? Um... Yeah, tell me about it. He was in a um, he was in a series in this country as well, Pete, called Teachers. Um, I think that was back in the early noughties, I think he was in that. But yeah, it is quite funny because it's just such a different, a, just such a different role. Right, let's just do, I'm going to just do one more level, just because it just seemed a bit weird, there are two shells, I think three shells might be a bit, a bit nicer. So yeah, just like a tiny little gift shop. Um, I'll try and find like a, a cashier's till or something to go on here. And then I think that'll be it, really. We don't need to do too much more here. I don't think... Um, this was always the plan, to put something like this here. Maybe we could have a bit of signage on the wall or something, but... Yeah, yeah it's a good idea, actually. Let's... Uh, let's... Let's delete a couple. We'll, we'll leave the top shelf full. But yeah, we'll just delete a couple. Um, but yeah, we'll just leave that. I, I, I don't want to. But I don't want to put loads here because this was the very first thing in the zoo, and it wouldn't have had a big gift shop. It just would have had something like really small, really basic. So I think we'll just do that. We'll leave it. We'll leave it like this. Um, these are probably not the right posters. I might go in and change these because I know there's like some snake ones. Yeah, look, you can see them there. So maybe I'll make I'll pull the snake on the outside uh, rather than having the elephant there. Um, so if we do that, this is like as you can see. So if I find that snake poster. Um, what are they called? Let's find out what they're called. Animal sign. Uh, animal. Um, here we go. Oh, that one's a bit small. There we go. Let's put this one here, because that just makes more sense. <coughs> Excuse me. Just makes a bit more sense to have the snake facing out, doesn't it? Um, okay. So, I'm pretty happy with it. I'm not sure about these. 
they feel a bit weird but i'll leave them there for now and i might do something a bit different at a later date um like i said i'm not i'm not going to be like bringing stuff like really up to date and whatnot um i want to leave things old that were old uh, <clears throat> and it funny that there's no plush shop implemented in the game they're in every zoo next dlc we can only hope Yeah, I'm more than happy for the chat to get turned into that, though, Leanne. Like, Pete actually makes a really good point there. Some streams, you go in and they just, they're focused way too much on, you know, what's happening. And to be fair, today's stream, I'm going to be not doing anything too exciting. It's just loads of little bits and bobs. But I like doing this stuff live with you guys and I like having a chat. And I like finding stuff out, like, about yourselves. The fact you watch Walking Dead, you know, I've watched it. We can talk about it. I love it. I love, uh, I love, I love the direction the chat goes in sometimes. Um, can we do the UV lamps? Um, yeah, I, I just, the trouble I've got at the minute, Nightclub, I don't know how to do them best. That makes sense. I don't know how to, um, I don't know how to get the best out of them. Yeah, essentially, Pete. Yeah, essentially. Plushies are more of a collectible thing in this country. We we have stuffed animals, but like uh, plushies are more. Um, their their filling is more like a bean bag type thing. If that makes sense, you know those little balls you get in bean bags. But I, I'm probably now going to get told what's a bean bag, and you probably call that something else. Yeah, I know. I I I, I feel like we're getting to a point though where the language is starting to like cross over. Like, okay, so Night Clive, why, I've got you in the chat, so I can ask, ask you the question. If we're looking at, say for instance, we're looking at, oh, excuse me, um, if we're looking at the Galapagosaurus indoor habitat, where would, where would you put the, where would you put the UV um, in the habitat? Would you put it above the bedding? Is that where you would place it? Um... And yeah, then then I then I then I know and I can try and make it happen. Um I think I saved a red light. Yeah, UV light. So I've got this. So like would you put it above the bedding like this, maybe? It's gonna be weird that hanging down there though, isn't it? I might try and use something a bit thinner than this if I can but yeah is that essentially what um, what you would do maybe I've just what I've just finished the the Queen's Gambit Leanne on Netflix and it was very good. Really enjoyed it. Wasn't expecting much of it and then really got into it. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't mind having a bit of Pink Floyd playing in there, Pete. Yeah, Ben's good. Connect it to the wall, not the ceiling. Okay, okay, cool. So... Um... I need an example. I think that's what it is. Um, because all I'm thinking is like where the <clears throat> where the wire would go. So you'd have it like a lamp coming out of the out of the wall. Is essentially what you're saying. All right, let's try to uh, let's try to make something then. Um,
Which which uh, do you know who it is you're you're watching play uh, play Valhalla, Leanne? Something a bit like that then. Uh, so you're not you're not late to the party at all, um, Pete. I haven't watched Peaky Blinders yet either. Um, I tried watching it ages ago, but my my wife couldn't get into it. So um, yeah, we just kind of uh, yeah. So we kind of gave up on it. Right. My issue now. Yeah, I, I I cannot wait for the new season season of Stranger Things. I would I would go as far as saying that's my favorite um my favorite show um on Netflix at the moment. Oh, T T M R T N. Yeah, I know who he is. I know who he is. If you if um I watch um I watch a lot of uh, Rad Brad do playthroughs. Leanne, Rad Brad's so good. I really like him. That look that sticks out like a sore thumb, doesn't it? But this is an old part of the facility, so I actually think we can get away with it. What I think it needs is just a little tiny piece there, and I guarantee we we haven't got anything that we could put in there. Um, but I am gonna try and find something. Maybe this. Can I get away with it? I know it's got that circle bit on it, but. Um, I did see Paulsy's back. Um, it's weird. It's weird to me. Like I don't want to. I don't. I don't want this to sound like I'm bad mouthing anyone because I'm. I'm not. Um, are you gonna let Rolo out now? Yeah. It's all right. Hmm. Do I want what? Uh, uh, when I'm finished. You order yours. Order yours now, and I'll order myself something when I'm finished. All right. Um, yeah, I don't want I don't want this to come across like a mad man with anyone, especially Paul, because Paul's been a big support of the channel, and you know I've got a lot of time for Paul. But it's I I feel like his reasons for leaving are not the same as his reasons for returning. I don't know. I could I could my information could be misconstrued based on you know what I've read and what I've seen, but I just kind of felt like he left YouTube because he was stressed and was finding it hard. But he's come back because YouTube has sorted out issues that he was having. I don't know, and I, and like I say, I really don't want that to come ac come across as me being an arsehole because that's not me, and I and I don't want to come across that way. And I'm a big fan of Paul's and a big supporter of like what he does for the community. It just felt a bit weird, like the two re the reasons didn't match up. But it is nice to have him back though, nonetheless, because he is a really good creator uh, in this community, especially. Um, I'm being very diplomatic there because I don't want to upset anybody. Yeah, exactly, exactly, Lexi. That's that's kind of how I feel about it as well. It was a bit strange. The reasons didn't seem to match up, but yeah, like you say, it's none of our business. The main thing is he's back, he's happy, and uh, he's going to crack on. So, yeah, good on him. See, that one looks so much better because it just it looks like it's coming out of the rock and whatnot. But yeah, it is what it is. Um, there's another bed there, so. I feel like I should put another one over here. Let's do that. These actually look nicer than I thought they were going to look, Nightclive. Going to be honest with you, mate. 
Um, I think that's one of the nice things about communities like this, though, to be honest with you, Leanne, is that, you know, you, uh, the communities really, uh, really give you something a bit more, don't they, than just, you know, sitting watching videos. Uh, there might be potentially, but I know Wolf is Lexi. Um, but yeah, potentially depends. Depends who's uh, who's chatting. I, I'm not. I'm not seen Kim today. Not heard much from Kim the last few days. Actually, I hope she's doing all right. Um, so we that there. I'm not really too sure where I would put him in here, to be honest with you, Nightclive. Maybe over the top of this, but I might actually dangle them. I might actually dangle a couple from the roof. I might try and find something that's a bit thinner. Yeah, because we'll need them a bit higher up anyway because uh, the animals are bigger. So I actually think here they work a bit better. Put a couple there. But yeah. Mm. I, I would I I would say I probably watch more YouTube and Twitch than I do normal TV, Leanne, to be honest with you. Watch so much stuff. Good entertainment though. I actually feel like there's people on these platforms making better content than like you know channels that are pumping out. 
So those little details are done. Was there anything else in here, Nightclub, you can remember that you said or people said? I, th I think I think that was it, to be honest with you. I think it was just a couple of little bits, because like, we've got fire extinguishers, the alarms, um, you know, we're all belled up. All the lighting's done in here. The lighting's all fine. I'm not changing any of the habitats, because, like I said... Um, earlier i'm not changing too much of the big structures because i want us to be able to tell the old from the new um but i think that was it you know we've added this light here we've added one over here got one over there two in with the crocs um so yeah i think that's i think that's all we needed to do uh, trust trust me when i say this leanne it um it never ceases to amaze me how far this project's actually come. Um, you know, this, you, you know, if you've watched it from the beginning, which I'm sure you have, Leanne, this was the first building we put in. All this stuff on the outside wasn't finished because we didn't have the money to finish it. And now that's what we're looking at. It's pretty incredible. It is pretty incredible. Yeah, UVs in this bad boy that's uh something i totally agree with um so i did add these three benches i tried to add them the other way and it didn't work uh but i've added the three benches in the middle someone just said to me just put some benches in the middle just to fill it up a little bit because it was a bit it was a lot of dead space in here uh, i think what i'll do is i'll just add some planters basically um like this, this bench i'll remove this bench that doesn't need to be there and we'll add a planter there instead uh, I actually have got some really nice planters over in the tropical house we could use. Um, yeah, I like this one here. This is like, you know, nice little planter that could be used. This one here. Um, or one of these, essentially. I think this is basically what we just need to use over there. Um, just to fill some space. Like I say, I'm not, not changing anything structural. I don't want to start messing around with colours and things like that. But I do think there's stuff in places that we, it really doesn't need to be. So yeah, just a little pop of colour here and there. If we just add some planters and whatnot. Like I don't think this bench needs to be here either. Get rid of this bench. That don't need to be there. Um, this one I'm, I'm alright with. We've got three in the middle. And then we can put... Um, we can then just copy this one over. We'll just give it a little bit of a twist. Just to add a bit of colour. A bit of natural colour inside. Um, yeah, benches in the middle. Yeah, I'm I'm actually all, I'm actually okay with this inside. Um so we need one in here. So that's the bed in there. So I'll I'll go and get one of those um thingy bob ones from the other place in a minute. But the Komodos we can have the ones that um dingle dangle. From the roof. But yeah, this this is work that needed doing. Definitely needed doing this work. Because it just I otherwise I would have just kept putting it off and putting it off and putting it off and we would have got nowhere. Right, so that's one. Um I'm gonna put two in. They're going to be slightly different heights because the roof, oh, the roof is different heights, and also this one's going to be back a bit more. There we go. Got a couple in there. Genuinely, that piece of poop I thought was a baby komodo for a minute, <laughs> but then I realised we won't have a baby komodo. Uh, yeah, won't have a baby Komodo because uh, only Diane's in here at the moment on her own because 
in skipping forward 10 years, um, Gorgia passed away. I've got to throw it out there for all the faithful viewers of the series. Um, Mr. Peabody's still alive. Even after we've skipped forward 10 years, Mr. Peabody is still alive. He refuses to die. He absolutely refuses to die. That's what you have me for. Yes, exactly, Nightclub. I, to be honest with you, buddy, I need people like you to keep reminding me. Because uh, when you're when you're building, you, you just tend to forget. You tend to forget so so much. I know there's a bed there, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna put a lamp there. I'm just gonna put the lamp over those. Um, we'll leave that. There's a little bit of bedding, but it won't be a problem. Just because natural sunlight and all that jazz. Um, I don't think we need to do too much more in here. I am just gonna leave it quite basic. Um, really? That is. How do they do that? Do you know? Do you know how they do it, Lexi? I would I'd love an explanation. That, that's pretty incredible. That is a that is a slice of information that is new to me, and I'm um. I'm um, I'm uh, I'm amazed. Yeah, and and Night Clive. Yes, I know. How the hell is this bird still alive? Um, I hope Mr. Peabody hasn't passed away, and I've missed it. But the last time I checked, yeah, look, Mr. Peabody is still going. He's 30 years old. 30. Their average age is 23. So either we're doing an amazing job at looking after him and keeping him alive, or he is just one of a kind. But Mr. Peabody basically cloned themselves. Wow, that's, that's crazy. I did not know that. Copied our own DNA instead of mixing it with a male. Jesus. <laughs> and Amagus. <laughs> um, hello, random goat, by the way. I don't know if you... You've been lurking in the background, have you? But yeah, Mr. Peabody. What a guy. Still alive. Um... Right, so yeah, there's one more I need to do in here, but let's go get this one because I think this one will work better. So let's do a little copy job of that. Um, oh, we will put that. Put that. There, I think. Yep, yeah, that is nice. <laughs> in the words of Borat, it's nice. Um, all the other bits and bobs are fine in here. Fire extinguisher, alarms, all that stuff's done, so I don't need to worry about that. Um, no problem, Leanne. Not a problem. Yeah, I bet they have. Jesus. That is, that, is a, that is an incredible fact, that one, Lexi. And I'm sure to uh, the next time I do a quiz with the family, I will include that one in a nature section that we always do. Um, nothing needs doing in here. I think I actually did a really good job at finishing this building off. Um, it might look a bit plain, but it's just a staff building. So nothing much needs to go in here. Um, uh, Garials are did. The Garials are... Oh, baby Garials. That's a good point, actually. That is a good point, Nightclub. Um, the salt is... See, the salt is I have an issue with. I'm going to be honest with you. This needs changing. Um, well, it's good to have you here. Random goat. Um, 
not changing in a big way because like I've already explained, I'm not going to be updating old stuff. But if the mail ever, if the mail is ever hurt and needs to be taken out, as you can see, the mail is so much larger. Um, we have an issue when he comes back. The box won't open in this small space. So I actually need to edit this at some point. Um, and I'm actually thinking of just coming across this way like so um but then the doorway for the keepers is going to be really exposed and i'm not going to be able to hide it because of the entry into the pool so it's quite difficult but i am going to have to edit this at some point um but yeah we could probably just put a couple of uvs um over the top of the bedding i guess um it won't look that attractive but and how often do we look in here we just know it's done it's just just for realism purposes isn't it we we know it's done but um I'm just going to add that that one over the top. It'll do. Um, yeah, the good the good thing as well, Linda, is you know when I'm streaming because I've set those two days. I, I, I my my whole thing, my whole thing uh, uh, now that I am streaming and now that I know how I'm uploading and stuff, my big thing now is consistency. I need, if I if I can get my consistency to a level that I want it, then I think the sky's the limit, really. I think that's all that holds a lot of people back. Um, Fanroll, how are you? Sumna, how are you? Nice to have you both here. Um, how are you both today? T uh, today, just so you know, um, I am uh, I'm just doing updates. I'm doing all the little details that I've been ignoring for a long time. And I have the main man himself, Nightclive, in the chat to help me along the way. Oh, here we go, Nightclive. There's already a UV in here. There's one. I need to put another one. I'm just going to put it over here, I think. So there's already one in here. Let's just sync that up there. Um, yeah, so everybody decided some nut on zone B. It was the overwhelming winner. Um, we're not working on it today. Uh, I'm having a bit of a break from North America. And uh, I'm just trying to get some jobs done, like I say, that have been put off for a little while. Um, but we will be back there probably next stream. And I think the first thing I am going to make uh, in the next part of North America is a, a, a wolf habitat. I think I'm pretty set on it. There we go. Uh, yeah, it'll be a wolf, I think. Um, a primal, primal asked for the wolf to be put in this zoo around about episode six. And uh, to, we're, we're going to be episode 24 on Sunday. And I think it's only fair, really, especially as... Primal is one of the more active members of the community in the series. I think it's only fair that I kind of follow up and I and I put the wolf habitat in for him. So, yeah. Um, I'm good. Thank you, Fanel. Really, really good. Um, a bit like yourself, regular Tuesday. I haven't really done much. Um, a bit of pie and mash for lunch. Um, South East London staple. Uh, looked after my daughter while Katie was tutoring. And, yeah, watch Back to the Future. Favourite film. Can't go wrong. Um... Yeah, just not really done a lot today. Done a bit of graphics work, done some logos, earned a bit of money. So yeah, regular Tuesday, a bit like yourself. Um, look how busy. Can we just appreciate how busy the the uh, the crocodile pool is? That is mad busy. I'm surprised that um, there's such pool for the for the baby crocs. Um, yeah, and then just jumped on stream basically. So that's that done. Um, do we have all the bits and bobs in here? It's so weird when you go through there because that's the bathroom on the other side of that wall. Um, we've got the fire alarm, we've got the extinguisher. 
Oh, excuse me. Extinguisher. Um, couple of crates. Ah, lights. Do need to put some lights. We've got lights in there, haven't we? Um, here we go. We will delete that message. So that is something I actually need to do. In case you see any bloody spam messages like that, apologies, guys. Um, I keep meaning to sort my settings out. Uh, yeah, let's put some. Let's put some lights in here. Um, let's just put these ones in oh apologies for the flickering on the floor we won't be here long anyway There we go. Couple of lats. Um, I don't think I have random go. I, I just think the game decides not to save stuff sometimes. I know that that sounds weird, but. Honestly, I save quite a lot, and I always save before I turn the game off. And I just think sometimes it just decides not to save because I've been looking around all the old parts of the zoo, and it hasn't deleted any pieces. So it must just be that the game just decides from time to time that it don't want to save stuff. Like, like really, if there was a piece count limit and it started to delete stuff, I would assume it would delete the old, the oldest stuff first. But for me, it started. It felt like it was deleting the newer parts of the zoo. So maybe it's just a case that you know stuff gets moved and and things like that. So um, yeah, I think we are. I think we we are done with the reptiles. Um, the salties are done. The houses are done with the UVs. Um, we do have the nurseries. Um, we do have the nurseries, but do you know what? I'll do. I'll do them myself. Look how many baby Aldabras we've got. <laughs> so many. Um, uh, quite a few baby salties as well. Loving life in here. Um, but yeah, do you know what? I'll do that. I'll do them myself because we we could be here all day doing that. But we've done the UVs there. We've done the UVs in John M's. Um, I hope John's all right as well because I haven't heard from John in a while. I know people get busy and stuff. Uh, salties is done. That doesn't need anything doing to it. Um, I'm quite happy with the uh, this area, this little plaza here. I'm quite happy with this restaurant and ticket office as well. The wild gardens, I'm happy with. I don't feel like the wild gardens need anything doing to them. Um, pretty happy with that. I'm happy with all the pathway around here. Um, so we said... Did we or did we not say we were going to do like advertisement on the on the fencing? Uh, the incubators I'm not going to do today, Nightclub, because I'm still I still don't know how I'm going to do it. Um, it's one of the reasons I haven't done it yet, buddy. I'm really I'm really at a loss at how to do it. Um. So yeah, we said we were going to do like some advertisement, didn't we, along here. Um, uh, I might do that somewhere in, in the North American area. I'd be more than happy to do that. Um, but yeah, here, I think we're, maybe we should put something on the walls and say like camels this way. Um, Gemsbot this way, maybe. Um, I think that might be might be an idea you know so let me just get a blank flat piece of ground just to make this a bit easier on myself let's do this let's just make a little something something for the for the walls um start tv screen So 
So somebody recently asked for a tutorial series again. Um, the membership thing, I think, is near the ticket offices. Like the sign up to the conservation club type thing. I think some of those how we is how we've already done that. But it is a good idea though. Um, but yeah, someone's asked for a uh, tutorial series again. M my thing with a tutorial series, I've said I'm I'm really I'm more than happy to do it, but I need to know exactly what people want a tutorial on. Um, so. You know, if you are one of the people that are asking for tutorial series, like, let me know what you'd like a tutorial of. Because, you know, a, one person said how to make backstage areas, but that's such a, that could be such a, a vast um, amount of detail and stuff that I could go into, honestly. Um, do you know what? Place that piece of wood. Just place it, and then we just need to get this colour. I'm going to do this one. This colour here, I quite like. But yeah, if uh, if you're one of the people that want stuff like that, I'm more than happy to do it. That would be a YouTube series. Obviously, I wouldn't. Um, I say series, it'd be a YouTube video. I wouldn't. Um, I wouldn't stream tutorial. I don't think. But someone, someone, I think someone left a comment on the last video saying. They'd love, uh, they'd love a tutorial series where I could help them with backstage areas because they struggle and find them a bit difficult. But they are hard. They're not backstage is not easy. Like you need, you need a lot of reference points to to do backstage stuff. Um, justice, in my opinion. So for those that follow Discord and the channel and stuff, you will have seen that I did put like a little, um, well, actually just the Discord. I should have put it on other stuff as well. But I did kind of put my a, a loose schedule out for this week. So for anyone that's interested, I'll be streaming Planet Zoo again on Thursday, uh, the usual usual Thursday stream for Planet Zoo, uh, 4 till 7 uh, UK time on Thursday. Wednesday, hopefully, with a bit of luck, we'll be back with the Noda Score podcast. Uh, that's for people that enjoy the football more than anything. Um, we'll 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 uh, we'll do that. Um, and then Friday, I am potentially going to be doing a stream in association with uh, the Bobby Moore uh, Trust. Uh, it's like football football shirt friday or something and there's lots of stuff going on and i might just come on and do something a bit bit like gamey football based for anyone that's interested i know it's not for everybody but just uh want to put the uh put it out there for you in case you're interested um That is true. That is true, uh, uh, Faneral. And uh, you know what? I was actually having a discussion with my brother about you know not not pigeonholing myself. Um, I I do worry, obviously, that a lot of the content I put out is uh, is Planet Zoo, and um, every every game has got a shelf life, and so I do need to start doing some other stuff. Um, whether you know it's for everybody or not. I'd, I have got to start doing it. I got to start, um, you know, stepping out of my comfort zone a little bit and doing some other bits and bobs. Uh, especially if I want to do this um, a bit more full time, you know. So yeah, I'm sure people understand. 
So as always, I'm going to do fake writing, everyone. I'm not going to do real writing. Because then it just matches up with everything that I've done so far. I don't know if you're a fan of this stuff. I just I prefer these these information boards and stuff like this personally. Yep, agreed, Fanarol. Totally, totally agree. End of the day, I've always said it was going to be a variety, uh, a variety stream and a variety sort of uh, gaming channel, you know. So uh, I want to, I want to deliver on the promise at the end of the day. Well, Rolo's having a field day, isn't he? Rolo is having a field day. I don't even know what he's barking at. I don't know if anyone could hear my wife going, no, stop, enough. <laughs> uh, he's a funny dog. <sighs> he's found his voice today, I know that much. Um, where, oh God, I've lost it. There it is. <laughs> um, how am I going to do the arrows? Yeah, I think the majority of it will be um, it will be Linda, but I will obviously there will be time to time that I step outside that. Um, you know, like like I've said, football manager is something that I am going to be doing. Uh, I made the decision to just move all that stuff over um, onto this channel, um, but but it isn't like like I was saying when I when I made that announcement and that update. It's not going to take over. Uh, that's not that's not what I'm saying. That's not the plan. But I just want everything to be in the same place. Essentially, just want everything to have be in the same home. Like this, this channel is just the, this channel and the community has just become so much more than my other channel ever was. And uh, you know, I'd rather share it with a community that cares than than one that's just going to moan about everything. Um. <clears throat> oh, my mum's been and gone. <laughs> I didn't even say hello. <laughs> just got just got a text from my wife saying, your mum's been and gone. She's picked the baby up. <laughs> Bye, Emily. Love you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Thanks, Kate. Appreciate it. <laughs> as long as she as long as she doesn't think I was being rude. That's all that matters. Um, I've made arrows before. Like, I don't know why I'm fannying about with this um, the way I am. Do you know what? Actually, I'm not going to use these pieces. I'm not going to use these pieces because it will look weird with uh, the piece I am going to use. Let's delete all that out. Okay. This is the trouble with these little details. They take a long time. They're really finicky. Like when you're building big buildings and stuff, the majority of the pieces end up um, just kind of like, you know, being wall pieces or whatever. They kind of create themselves. But 
when you've got to do these little um, these little finicky buildings. Oh, that's a weird angle. That's gone out. That is not straight in the slightest. Unbelievable. Um, do, you know do we even need any information? Maybe we just do it like this with the arrows. Maybe we just do it like that. That looks a lot better. Can I make this a little bit smaller though? Oops. Um. I don't know why I'm having such a hard time with things today. My brain doesn't want to work. There you go. That's literally all I wanted to do. Um, Right, that will do nicely. Um, yeah, that's already linked together, all that bit, isn't it? Right, that will do. That will do nicely. Um, I had a feeling that was going to be the case. Um, it's the only trouble we're using that stuff. The only trouble we're using this um, is that it is so thick. Um, I'm just going to see if I can find something else that we can use in its place. Um, maybe a piece of wood or something. Just because it's just so big. That's going to be too dark, I reckon. Yeah, it's way too dark. Um... Quarter to eight already. Mental how time flies when you're playing this game. It really, really is. Absolutely chugs on by. Uh, they are, but the plaster pieces are bigger um, in in overall size. I think Lexi. Um, 
that's I think that's the reason I didn't use them. Yeah, I, that I definitely agree. See what I mean? Look at the difference in size. And so I would have to move... By the time I move it back... So... About there... But it'll overlap the... It'll overlap the thing. So yeah, it's just so much bigger. Plaster is my go-to. Like, I absolutely love the plaster pieces, but... For these little um for these little details, not not so much. Um must have there must be something. Like I did think about this because it's just a lighter a lighter wood, maybe, but is that just, is that gonna look a bit odd here on this dark fence? Or is that something maybe we need? Do we go with maybe this? This wood here? Because this is uh this is a lot thinner. Actually, it doesn't look terrible, does it? I actually quite like that. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'll use that. We'll get rid of these. They're just so thick. Like they're great for detailing, but like we're gonna we're gonna run into a problem anyway because these are these are gonna go through, these are gonna go through the fence. So we are whatever happens, we're gonna run into a problem here. But it might not be as big a problem as uh, as before. So, right, that's that's all right. So now what I need to do is just go and disguise the edges, and then uh, and then we're done with these. And I can just basically I'll copy this one and I'll put the camels on the on the next one. So let's just rotate that round. You could board up the whole back and attach it to the fins that way. Oh, okay. I feel like I've done it now. <laughs> Similar colours to these uh, fence pieces, so it actually looks quite nice. Let's just get it central. Very, very nice. Um, so I'm going to do one for the Gemsbok, and then I think we'll miss one. We'll mi we will no, we won't. We'll have, we'll put them both in the. We'll put them in the center. The t these two, just because the bin is at the next one. So we'll do that, and then on this one we'll put the camels. There we go. That actually is alright. I quite like that. I do quite like that. Give people a bit of something to the, just kind of look at. It's, it, it feels in education as well, which is quite nice. But um, but yeah, people said for a long time this just felt a bit empty, this space. So yeah, they look, don't look half bad. Don't look half bad. I think we can then use that idea in other places in the zoo as well. Um... Can you up those those to the yeah sure, sure. Definitely. Um, let me 
let me separate that piece there we go and then I'll, I will I'll, I'll save that and upload that for you uh, and I'll put it on the workshop I'll do it after the stream's finished right that's that so that that's that another little idea done um, Camel Games Rock Flamingo, Lima Island, um, Crocodile Show, Toilet, John M's Monitor Manor, World Garden, Croc Corner, um, Reptile House. Uh, what I should add, I should add two more signs on here. So let's. Let's move this down to about there, and then we'll just add to. We'll color code them and all like uh, the way we need to, but we will put this one here and this one here. So we'll put into into Africa. Um and. Oh, I don't really like that the way I've done it. Into into Africa, um, and anyone got any suggestions for like a name for the South American area? So it looks a bit more exciting on the on there. We'll go with this orange color. Quite like the orange. Um, Red's quite an aggressive colour, isn't it? Warm. You think red's a warm colour? I, I, I feel like red's quite aggressive. You know, because it means, you know, stop and whatever. Flamingo should be... Should be pink. It is pink. It is. It is pink, Leanne. It. I think it's the lighting. Blue's cold. Yeah, agreed. Blue's cold. Yeah. That, yeah. Agree agree with that, uh, Lexi. Um yeah, these direct these direction posts are actually starting to look really cool now because they're getting loads of stuff thrown on them. Um Hey, how you doing, Kim? You're very late to the party. There's still a while though. Still about probably still about sort of a half hour left at least. So yeah, it's been a nice chill stream, Kim. We've just been kind of like doing bits and bobs that I've been ignoring. So um, it's been quite nice, actually. Um, but yeah, anyone got any suggestions for like a little name for the South American area? Um, I'd rather put something like unique than just tropical house. Um Uh, uh, where are most of the animals from? Uh, what, as far as the tropical house is concerned, uh, South America. They're all from South America. Kittens. So you, you're not you're not going to get the dog now. You're going to get a cat instead, are you, Kim? Matter of minutes after this, cardboard zebra and rope pole for the African dogs. Uh, rainforest of America, rather long. No, uh, it's not. It's not at all. It doesn't matter how long it is. I actually quite like that. Uh, boom. And then I'll do that. More of a deeper green, I think. Thinking more like Brazil. Yeah, actually. With that in mind. Could go with like a nice yellowy 
colour instead. We we need to name the rainforest house anyway. I suggest Primal uh, as a as a as a name patron. Primal um, wants the wolf den named after him, Nightclive. So that's why I um, it's why I held off. A bit like yourself, you wanted the Australian dome named after yourself, buddy. So I held off, but um, you know we've got Kim, we've got Lexi, we've got. Uh, you know, loads of people that we could name stuff after. I'm even looking at the, you know, the, the recent streams. Leanne is definitely with a shout. Leanne's been in the streams a lot. Fanerol hasn't got anything named after her, and she gets involved in every single episode. So I think there's lots of people that, you know, we could name some stuff after. Um, of course you can, Sumna. You can be a bison if you want. I named the bison, by the way. Who else is up for his name on the biggest project? Yeah, that was the big, biggest project of them all. And all. It, was, it was a mad one. I would use the Americas instead of just America. Ah, yes. Rainforest of the Americas, yeah? The... The... Americas. Yeah. Nice. Hello. <laughs> that little noise. Actually, a camel. Okay, that's fine. Let me do that. Um. So some of the camels have already been named. Sapphire was was named. Um. General, you can be, you can, you can have this, this one, Sumna, 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 yeah, there we go, there you go, Sumna, you are now one of the camels, if you have two girl animals, can they be named after my girls, Elizabeth and Charlotte, happy to swap them to have a place in the zoo, <laughs> um, of course I can, what, what animals, what animals would you, would you like, Leanne? As long as you get your name for, for chimps, that is fine. Do you, would you like me to save the boys' names for chimps or capuchins or what would you like, Kim? Why would we might as well do this while we're here at the end of the day? But yeah, is there any anything in particular, like any choice, uh, Leanne? Oh, what I do want to do, bring your attention to, by the way, um, we've got baby, we got baby painted dogs, yeah. Um, so I tell you something happened. So obviously I have to move the game on, don't I? When you pick a new zone, um, and so obviously I press play. The the dogs got welcome to the pack. It was great, you know. Got some, we got some baby painted dogs, um, and then uh, and then I I, I see a, a message pop up and dangerous animals escaped. I'm like, oh my god, um, what is going on? So this this habitat, the the adult animals could not escape this habitat, but the babies could somehow climb up on this rock. They could climb up on the rock over here. They could climb up on a rock over here. So I had to redesign all of this area just to prevent the pups from getting out. It was a nightmare. If you have two girls of the dogs, I know this one's a girl, um, but I think the other one's a boy. If memory serves me correct. Uh, where are you? There's one. They're quite hard to find. I'm going to be honest with you in this habitat. Uh, are you sleeping? No. Do you know what? I do it the I'll do it the easier way. Um, no, they're both girls. They're both girls. So, would you like that then, Leah? Is they're both girls? They're very. They're lovely English names, aren't they? As well, <laughs> Elizabeth and Charlotte. Um, Elizabeth. That's one. And Charlotte. There we go. Done. They're in the game. Part of the part of the family. But yeah, they're just uh yeah, pretty amazing that we got them. Um what I like about the wild dogs as well, obviously I did know this was a thing anyway, but you get essentially a matriarch, you know, a dominant female and a dominant male. So if every animal that's Born can remain as part of the pack and can stay in the zoo. We haven't got to worry about inbreeding and whatnot. So, um, 
So I absolutely love that about the wild dogs. I'm really, really happy about that. Because literally every other animal, I have to worry so much about inbreeding. It's why I have to move the animals on. Um, so, yeah, there is that. So, yeah. If anyone's, uh, if anyone's got any other name suggestions, feel free to throw them out in the chat. So, what was I doing? Yes, we were doing this. So, we've got all of this done. Um, that's looking rather nice, actually. And then we got that bit that way. Um... Okay. Oh yeah, toys, that was it. Sorry, Nightclive, I didn't ignore you, buddy. Um what I want to do about this oh nightclive, I want to be just really strategic about it. I don't really want the toys to be too noticeable. Reason for this is I don't know if you agree, but the majority of our zoos I've gone to, the a lot of this stuff isn't in plain sight. Um, we need two very grumpy animals. And have a Ronnie and a, and a Reggie. <laughs> totally agree. Uh, my friend asked me if she can be a capuchin. Of course she can, Simon. Feel free to write the name in the chat. No, we'll, uh, I'll do that for you. Sorry I've been lurking. That's not a problem, Joe. Don't worry about it. Um... Yeah, it's just a uh, Catherine. Okay, I can do that. So a capuchin named Catherine. Let's sort that out before I move on. Um, There you go, job done. Job done. Jobs are good. Um, behind the bush. The zebra we can put behind the bush in the centre. This one here. Yeah, agreed. Or this one. Doesn't really matter, does it? But yeah, agreed, we can. Um, so, let's find that. Zebra. Zebra piñata. Uh You're going to see it from here. Whatever happens, you're going to see it from there. So. Yes, my, my only issue with. Uh, with a lot of this stuff. Yeah. You just don't really see it in real life, do you? But um, it is what it is. And then the other one that you mentioned. Species wild dog. Uh, Rope. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what one you mean. Um, Nightclive. To be honest with you, rope toy. Because um, we don't really have anything. We printed a, a scented sack. We've already got that. Um, We've already got a rotate, rotating line feeder. We've got these toys are in the hard shelter along with boxes. I've put loads of these about. We've got one of these bamboo feeders in this bush over here. So we do actually have a lot more than... Uh, I don't think... It's that bad. No, uh, that, that's not what I'm saying. Nightclub, what I'm saying is that if you go to the zoo, you don't really see a lot of these props. That's 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 more what I'm saying, buddy. Um, but like I like this one here, like we've got it here, but it's quite well disguised, and that's why I put a lot of their stuff back here as well. You just don't really see it out on exhibit that much. Is the point I'm making? Like if you actually go to the zoo. But yeah, I I actually think there's quite a lot in here now. There's a ball there. This thing's here. There's a bamboo feeder there. There's a few blood center things all scattered around. Water's there, and then they've got toys in the hard shells. There is actually a lot, and there's this uh, 
rope thing, and I think the scented sack is over here. So there's more in here than... Uh, yeah, the pool is just for the dingoes. Um, so if I was to change it, the dingoes... Yeah, see this, the tug rope? It is just for just the dingoes. It's dingo exclusive. So these, these guys won't use it. I could put it in, but they won't use it. It is a cool little uh, little thing, though. But we, we will we will obviously get that in um, at a later date. We will get it in at a later date. Unfortunately, guys, I'm going to have to call the stream... I'm going to have to call the stream early because... I think my dinner's just arrived. My wife's ordered me some dinner. I'm probably going to have to call this early, I'm afraid. Um, but if anyone's about lunchtime tomorrow, I might jump on at lunch tomorrow um, and do a bit of this stuff for an hour, hour and a half. So if anyone's up for that, might jump on a little early tomorrow and do a little afternoon stream if anybody's up for it. Um, I know that's not for everybody. People have got jobs and stuff like that, but but you can always watch the streams back anyway. But let's save what I've done just to make sure I don't lose any of this. Uh, I've I've already done it. Uh, I've already done it, um, Kim. Uh, let me just show you. There you go. Already done. But uh, yeah, I'll, uh, I, might, I might do it. I won't do it like I won't do it mega early. I won't do it like really early. I might do it sort of like three o'clock, maybe three o'clock ish. That sort of time, UK. Yeah, might jump on for about an hour, an hour and a half, and we'll continue just start working my way through, working my way through uh, all this stuff basically. Um, but yeah, because we've got loads of little jobs to do, and I, w what I want is on Thursday. I want to, I want to bang on with uh, with the new area basically. But thank you everyone for joining me again. I really, really appreciate it. It's been another fantastic stream. You're all an absolute joy to talk to as always. If you are new, please drop me a follow on Twitch. That would be really, really. Uh, appreciated uh, if you want to see more of this stuff you can head over to the YouTube channel and yeah, you can check out not only this series but all the other stuff that I'm doing over there make sure you drop likes make sure you subscribe make sure you do all the great stuff that you need to do but my friends I'm done and dusted I will uh, I will see you all on the next one basically and uh, we'll have plenty more fun my friends uh, when the time comes around but thanks for joining me see you all later